A three-game lead over the Mets. Maddox struggled. He's looking for just his third win in his last 11 starts, Round but he gets some help from his friends. Mike Piazza, the chopper to chipper, the dive and the throw. Nice play by Randall Simon at first for the stretch. Bottom of the third, one on against Masato Yoshi, who pitched very well. Into right center field. Guillen hits it where they ain't. Double the right center. That would score Eddie Perez. He wasn't that banged up. He could still play to run, and the Braves had a one nothing lead. Top eight, runner on third, two down. Maddox against Matt Franco, and Maddox too much for him to end the inning. Maddox, six Ks in eight innings. Top nine, two on, two out. Ventura against John Rocker, and Rocker gets him. And the Braves win your classic-style baseball game, one nothing. Masato Yoshi nearly as good as Maddox on two out. Terrible Holland facing Rico Bronya. Shot the center. That's where Sammy was hanging out on Sunday. And you know that feels good on the real grass. Bottom of the third. How often do you see it? A couple innings later, after a guy makes a great catch. He hits one out. His 28th of the year. Second in two nights. 3-2 Cubs. And they go on to win 13-7. On for Craig Wilson. Hadn't homered all year. Homered twice in this game. That's off Tim Wakefield. Over the large green wall, second of the game, second of the year, after coming down from 5 nothing, the White Sox in the lead 7-6. Red Sox down 7-6. Reg Jefferson, Mike Caruso with the restaurant quality play. Flips to Wilson, 6-4-3, and three, and the White Sox are winners. Now going in, Tim Wakefield. It's going to look like he'd had bad hand. Bernie Williams, everyone throw your hands in the air and wave them around as though there are no repercussions. Second of the game, 13th of the year, 3-1 the Yanks in front. Ninth inning, 3-2 the Yanks. Luis Soho against Arthur Rhodes. Home run. First of the year, first homer since July of 97 for him. And Jeter left Zimmer sleeping. He applauds the win. 4-2 Yanks there in a 6-2 final. That's another three-game sweep for the Yankees. After the game is seen here on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. J.T. Snow doing all he can do to prevent the Dodgers sweep. Off Chano Park, a three-run job of his own. Giants at a 4-0 lead. Very next batter, Ellis Burks, takes Park deep and out. Back-to-back -back Jacks. Giants up 5-0. And they go on to win and hang on by a score of 8-7. They snap their five-game losing streak. Trevor Hoffman facing Jeff Reed. Hope you're going to have a bunch of rules and stuff. Gets him swinging two out after an error allowed to run. Base is still loaded two out for Nephi Perez, but Hoffman coaxes him into doing that. Padres win again, this time by a count of five to three. Kilvio Veras not pictured. Former Governor John Spellman. Some taxpayers think that's how their money's being handled. It was either him or Steve Trout. First inning, 2 0 Texas. I am amused by the simplicity of this game. Ken Griffey's son, three run dong, 198 for him in the kingdom, 3 2 Mariners. Now to the fourth. Change, and that ball is belted deep to left center, Junior to the track. The wall makes the lead, that makes the catch. It is Ken Griffey Jr.'s game, as you would expect. My, oh my, how about that, Dad? He's going to get his name in the paper. The Mariners win it by a count of five. Five to two, and besides the sellout crowd, you saw one of his old teammates there, his dad, Ken Griffey Sr., for the closing. About getting robbed, Gonzalez says, I hit it hard, and causing two delays in this. Five, four rolls, two on, two out for Richie Sexton. And he takes Jeff Montgomery's pitch way back. Off the top of the wall, in fact, not out, but now rolling around. Weebles wobble, but they won't fall down. Omar Vizquel coming, Roberto Alomar coming. And the Indians coming also, coming back to win it 6-5. to five. Sexton hustling for the triple. By the way, not pictured 28 pitches and just one batter retired in the first was Dwight Good. Thinking about third straight. How about Fred McGriff? Home runs in three straight games. That one off Kelvin Escobar and the catwalk. It travels an estimated 455 feet, the second longest in the extensive history of Tropicana. Manager Johnny Oates and shortstop Royce Clayton both ejected in that loss to the Mariners. Juan Gonzalez in the first inning off Chuck Finley. Get out of town. Rangers had a 2-0 lead, a sign of things to come for Finley. More on him in a bit. Second inning, Mike Morgan facing Matt Walbeck with a runner on second. Walbeck grounds the third. Todd Zeal diving stop towards the line, then makes the diving tag to get Todd Green at third. And Zeal, some thanks for Morgan, who threw eight and two-thirds scoreless. Here's Roth. Facing Finley in the fifth. Drills the high fastball even higher and deeper. 20th homer of the year. That's his fifth career home run off Finley. And the Rangers blow out the Angels.
Place to rob his tribe. The first inning, Kenny Lofton to center field, robbed by Carlos Beltran. Then in the second inning, Johnny Damon tells Travis Fryman and those who are late do not get fruit cup. Sixth inning, Jermaine Dye, nice backhand and grab. But you know, Charles Nagy, he's got a shortstop, plays some pretty solid defense too. Omar Vizquel robbing Damon. Indians win 6 1, and we just did a Sports Center highlight without dealing with a team that's on the bottom. Two zip Braves, two on. Andrew Jones, he likes to hit Miguel Batista. He was six for nine before that. He's now seven for ten. That was a three-run shot. His 13th home run, it's five zip. He likes to hit against Anthony Telford as well. Second career home run in 11 at bats. Jones, three for five with four runs batted in. They're up 12-5. Next batter is Randall Simon. Anthony Telford doesn't like to get hit. Uh-oh. Inside on a big, big man. I don't blame him. And then they put the brakes on and Empties. benches Spot came out. And the Braves realize that they're getting paid a lot more money than most of the Expos and they don't want to get hurt. So Kevin Millwood wins his third straight start and leads the Braves with nine wins. Line Klusko went three for four with four runs batted in. Florida, Mookie Wilson watching his stepson step right out. Al Leiter, K-8 in the game. This is Robin Ventura taking Brian Meadows for a long ride. Three run shot, 14th of the year. Mets are up 3-2. Ventura was hitting 500 against Meadows in his career. Here's Ventura against Brian Edmondson. Really not sure what he was hitting against him in his career, but this is going to help. Two for four with six runs batted in in two innings. Mets are up 9-2. They're up seven, so Ricky Henderson decides to get some work in the bullpen. Oral Hershiser decides this is a good opportunity to get behind the plate. See what it's like when the guys actually don't throw the pitch where it's supposed to go. Or they do. Bottom seven, Turk Wendell. Preston Wilson, thanks for playing. Third time, he goes down and snap, crackle, and pop. So the Mets take care of the Marlins. 10-4 Ventura, by the way. Coming off the DL against Jose Canseco, chopping broccoli. Canseco struck out three times tonight. Bottom one, Carpenter to Wade Boggs. Little chopper. Where'd the ball end up? Catcher Darren Fletcher grabs it from the jersey. And the game continues. 2-1 Toronto. Tony Batista. Fifth is a Blue Jay, 3-1 Toronto. Now bottom of nine, two out. Billy Koch, Canseco strikes out, but the, goal, the ball gets past Fletcher. Doesn't get it to first in time, so got to get four outs. Fred McGriff, there it is. Koch, he can throw hard. Rough night all around for the Devil Rays. The mascot even going down. The Blue Jays went in 3-2, so four Toronto relievers come on. Huffman against Mike Sorotka. Say chowda over the large green wall and left, his second of the year. Media pressure will be intense for his third. 4 nothing. Red Sox now to the sixth. 4 nothing. Frank Thomas against Brett Saberhagen. That's just another case of the man keeping us down. Saberhagen, K-3 in his seven shutout innings. Lou Merloni against Sorotka. Merloni rips it to third. Wilson, restaurant quality play, guns it across, gets the out. Take another look to see if there's any spare chains sitting around third base. Look at the play, diving for that. How much is this worth from Frank Thomas? They get the out, sort of. Seventh inning, seven nothing Red Sox. They're loaded for Jose Offerman. No grand slams in his, one grand slam in his career. Just barely. That little short porch, it's over. Red Sox up 11 zip and win it 14 to one. Now besides all the run scoring, Brett Sabregan won a season high seven shutout innings. Hitters in his last outing. Here he pitches out. Kendall caught in the rundown, but here comes Kevin Young, and he's safe in a double steal. Has this game tied at two. Down to the eighth. Same score. Bases loaded. Bird. Yvonne Cruz gone. Bird, seven Ks. He fanned the side in the eighth. Remember, last week didn't punch anybody out. Almost got into a punching match, though. Chris Benson was outstanding in this game. There he gets Mike Lieberthal chasing. Extra innings. Bottom 10, two on. Adrian Brown threw. Here comes Young. Kevin Young scores the game winner, and the Pirates win 3-2 in 10 innings. Brown was hitting 193 this season before coming through there. And by the way, for those of you interested, Paul Burr. Catcher Henry Blanco on the bottom of the first. Yikes, and away. Eric Owens would later score off that steal. Bottom of the fifth, Padres runners on the corners. Owens running again. Blanco fakes the throw. Stolen base for Owens. Next batter, again, runners on the corners. Now 3-2 Padres. Reggie Sanders running again. 
Blanco doesn't throw down stolen base for Sanders. Again in the bottom of the six, Padres, runners on the corners. This time, Blanco finally throws down, and Kurt Abbott's throw is not in time as Damian Jackson steals home. One of five steals in the game for him ties a club record. Bo top of the ninth, Rockets within two. Now within one as Dante Bichette busts out the whooping stick on Trevor Hoffman. Second homer of the game for Bichette, eight, seven Padres. Two outs, nobody on. Kurt Abbott, the last chance for Colorado. Kilby Overis bobbles, but gets his man, and the Padres hang on for the 8-7 to seven win, and that's 10 in a row for San Diego, and that is the longest winning streak in the major. Something had to give the Reds fans. <laughs> Doing their best to reverse the trend. Top of the ninth, D-backs up 3-2. Dave DeLucci pinch hitting. He's shot to deep right. Jeffrey Hammond's on the wall to make the great grab. Bottom of the ninth, Reds down 4-2. Two, two on Eddie Taubitsy. Facing Vincente Padilla, making his major league debut. Taubensee, the bloop to right, then oops, right over Tony Womack's head. Greg Vaughn, Barry Larkin score. We're tied at four on Taubensee's lone hit of the game. Two batters later, Padilla facing Aaron Boone with runners on the corners, and Boone delivers. Pinch runner Chris Stein scores the game winner. Boone two for two. The Reds feeling good. They take it in dramatic fashion, 5-4. It was since his eighth straight win. Danny Graves gets the win in relief. Tuesday's tilt with St. Louis, and St. Louis on the comeback trail here, down 4-3 with two men on. Ray Langford base hit. Joe McEwing come on down. We're now tied at four in the eighth. Bottom of the eighth, two on, two out for Craig Biggio against Manny Ibar. Biggio, base hit. Glenn Barker scores. The Astros go up 5-4, and that would be your final. The Astros' four-game losing streak's over. Scott Ellerton got the win in relief, but he will next appear as a starter in place of Sean Bergman. About to watch a very bad hop come his way off the bat of Ron Gann. Alex Arias, Doug Glanville score against Grounder. Is a double. Philly scored five in the inning. Wayne Gomes trying to shut it down. Base is loaded. One out. But Freddie Garcia grounds into the game-ending 5-4-3 double play. Phillies hold on to win at 7-4. Kurt Schilling improved to 11-4, but the... Housekeeping for us here at Sports Center, Sammy Sosa. This 29th home run on the season that leads the majors. Two-run shot, but not nearly enough. Sosa's homer was just a, an afterthought in the 17-6 shot before opening up safe going. It started in Oakland, where Alex Rodriguez robs Miguel Tejada to start the 6-4-3 double play. This game went to extras in the 12th, tied at one. Raul Abanez takes T.J. Matthews into center. Tony Phillips plays on a hop. Charles Gibson come on down. He's safe. Ibanez is out at second, but Raul did the damage. And the Mariners win 2-1. to one. Junior went 0-4 for 4 with a walk and a strikeout. A tough no decision for Seattle's John Halama. Top of the sixth, Roberto Kelly hits one deep to left. Darren Jackson says, you want me on that wall? You need me in the general vicinity of the wall. <laughs> Bottom of the seventh, Burkett. Gets Mo Vaughn swinging the for the third to time to in the game. Burkett and the Rangers out. shut out the Angels 5-0. The Angels dealing with some serious entanglements. The Jeter Rook and young ball player. Two-run shot is 13th off Justin Thompson. 3-0 Yankees. More than enough for the Rocket, who's still in the game in the top of the ninth and cruising. Tony Clark swinging. Now batting Damian Easley. And to end the game, Gabe Kapler swinging. Strikes out the side to wrap it up. Eight strikeouts in the night for Clemens. Yanks win 3 0. A 130 pitch, eight hit shutout for Roger, who lowered his ERA to a 4.52 with his 45th career shutout, most among active pitchers. As for Justin Thompson, another tough luck loss, but he's used to those. And his 33 career loss, Todd Walker sends one Kenny Lofton's way. And pretty much anywhere between left and center field is Kenny Lofton's way right there. Amazing catch, making it look quite easy, actually. Bottom of the ninth, Indians down 4-3, one on. Roberto Alomar lays down a bunt. Ron Coomer charges, bare hands and throws, and suddenly, time stops! To show you that Roberto Alomar is out. However, Greg Kosk called him safe, much to the chagrin. Uh, Tom Kelly who then watches Jim Tomey with the extra out and two outs in the inning, win the game with a base hit. Tom Kelly shaking his head. Over this one, Indians win 5-4. Sid Minnesota's Denny Hawking. We're at Olympic Stadium Tuesday. Saw John Small sleep after five innings with stiffness position. in his right elbow. Bottom ninth, 5-3 Braves. Two men on for Vladimir Guerrero with two outs. And Guerrero rocking John Rocker. A three-run homer is 15th. And it's the game winner. Rocker bombing. Expos win it.
by the final of 6-5. And there is joy in Montreal, at least among the 7,069 fans who wandered into Olympic Stadium for this one. The Expos got five runs in that ninth inning. They had Atlanta just its fourth loss in 14 games. Rondell White just activated off the DL, three for four, his hitting streak at 12 games. Mets and Marlins in Miami. Bobby Valentine looking on. Bottom of the seventh. Mets up 5 0. Oral Hershiser gets Kevin Ory to ground into the double play. 4 6 3 if you're scoring at home, but if you're sitting at home scoring Sports Center highlights, you really ought to get out more. The Mets take it 5 1. Hershiser comes within two outs of his first shutout in morning. Tied at three. Eric Karos. Fly ball deep to center. Ruben Rivera. Another great catch. Still tied at three. The replay confirms what we already suspected. It was a nice grab. Karos 0 for 5 in the game. Still tied after nine innings as the rules dictate. We head to extra innings. Bottom of the 12th. Still tied at three. Padres have stranded 14 runners so far. But Damian Jackson comes through. The double into the corner off Mike Maddox. Ben Davis scores the winning run. Jackson 2 for 5 as the Padres win it, taking their 11th straight. Giants, Ellis Burks up with two men on. And Burks got it. Has he done it again? Second home run of the game. Yes, he has done it again. 11th on the year. Seven RBI night for Burks. That ties his career best set in 1987. Giants win a 10-1. Burks now has.